Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Just Galaxy, and today we are trying Casey Davis or Domestic Blisters Five Things Tidying Method. So while I put my shoes on, I'm just gonna give you a bit more information. This is a really basic method of cleaning house that Casey specifically suggests for people with ADHD, basically anything that might have a lower executive functioning. So for this method, there are only five things you need to do, which I have listed on this sticky note here. And with that, let's get right into it. So step one, gather all the trash in the house. Now, I do want to specify that I use this to do my entire house. This kind of room reset method that Casey Davis talks about pretty frequently on her TikTok channel is actually meant to be used for like a single room, but I really needed to do the entire thing. So I just kind of did my whole house. In addition to that, my condo is pretty small overall. So like this living room kitchen space is basically like half of the, like the condo. So doing the other half wasn't a really big deal. As you can see in the actual video, I started out by cleaning out my fridge. I really needed to do this. I had um, eggs that were several months old. I had things that people had bought while they were staying at my house that I don't eat, that they ate, but they were house sitting for me. So they were in my fridge and then they left and you can see where this is going. So I just started here. I don't think this method is meant to be used for this, but it was very helpful for me since I was gathering all of the trash in the entire condo. I just kind of went for it. That being said, the whole idea Idea behind gathering all of the trash is that you're just supposed to do that. You don't take the trash out afterwards or anything like that. You just gather it all up and put it into a single location. So as you can see throughout this, I am carrying the bag with me. And so I'm just kind of going from room to room, gathering any trash I can find, and then moving on to a new area of the house, depending on the order I wanted to do things, I kind of made it up as I went. Also, when I was doing this, I considered any recycling to be trash. So I broke down boxes and things like that as I was doing it so that I could kind of get it all into like one somewhat sorted pile. So my house is not very big. So I did have to kind of like, I couldn't just make a big pile of trash that I then was not going to take out at the end of this. So I did try to break it down as much as I could and kind of keep it somewhat small. I felt like that was still within the spirit of trying what I was trying. So I just kind of kept on going. And you know, as time went on, I, I picked up trash and then my camera died. Um, so I, I had to, you know, I lost a bunch of footage there. I was in that area longer than uh, you guys got to see. Anyway, this is my bedroom now. I've now plugged my camera in so that it will not die again. Look at me. I didn't have like a ton of trash in this room. So I was just kind of like, looking for things and doing like small little tasks. You see here the start of one of the issues I had and probably the only real issue I had with this method, which was that I would frequently like get mildly distracted and start doing things that I technically wasn't supposed to in an individual step. It, you'll notice a few times here and when I'm in my office, I start like sorting through things and putting things away in addition to gathering the trash. That was really the only issue I had with this entire method. I actually really liked this method overall. Spoiler alert, um, this is definitely going to be a really good review because I thought this method worked really, really well and I have continued to use it since I tried it for the first time, which is what you guys are seeing here. And I really wanted to show you guys my first time doing it entirely because I think as a method, your first time doing it is one of the most important because that will give you an idea of whether or not you're going to be able to keep doing it. And so I felt like showing you guys my my very first one was the, the best, best option. Here I am in my office. As you can see, it is an absolute disaster. Um, this is not even like the half of it. I don't have many places I can put the camera in my office where you will be able to see the whole thing. That being said, I did my absolute best to let you guys see as much of it as possible. One thing that uh, Casey Davis mentioned in her original video is that it's totally a normal part of this to like have to move big things that are in the way. So like moving boxes that are in the middle of this room and stuff like that to just kind of get them out of the space. So so that I'm able to actually clean it. 
And, you know, in the process of that, I did end up putting some things like away in a way. So like you see me here, I, I figured out a method of putting away this this big piece of vinyl that's been like sitting uh, over this chair for probably like three months. Hair tie. Um, that actually worked really effectively and I'm really proud of myself for it, so. So then I sorted through all of this mail because a good amount of it wound up being trash. That That is the number one thing here is that oh, the sticky notes and the mail, a lot of it wound up being trash. Um, the recycling more specifically, but you know. And also, you know, for like situations like this, I knew I was eventually going to have to throw this box out once I took this little lantern out of it. So I decided to do this just then, like immediately so that I could get all of the trash into one place. They're my dead glasses. I'm really sad those things broke. So this is really uh, the main portion of the trash section right here. So I've gathered everything up. Oh my God, my fridge was open this whole time. That being said, so that moves us on to step two, which is gathering all of the dishes in the house, as you will see on my sticky note. So what I was saying in that moment there, it's I know it's sped up, but I was talking to the camera for a hot second, is that I just don't have a lot of dishes at the moment. I had done them like the day before I did this. Dishes were just not a big issue during this video. So here I am in, at this lovely angle because I did such a good job positioning my camera in my teeny tiny kitchen. I am unloading the dishwasher. Yes, I have to use a step stool to reach a good number of the cabinets in my house because I am that short and they are that tall. That being said, I, you know, just kind of put everything away. In hindsight, I don't think that this is what you're supposed to do um, according to like the tidying method that Casey Davis suggests. I think what you're actually supposed to do is just gather all your dishes into the sink and not like worry about putting them away or doing them. But I had so few in the moment and you'll see this section is pretty short that I decided to just put away all the dishes in the dishwasher and then clean what few dishes like hand wash dishes I had. So here I am cleaning a bunch of straws and then um, this mug with Keith from Voltron on it, which I uh, cannot put into the dishwasher. So that's what I'm doing there. And that's why I kind of chose to do this this way. So I did modify it a little bit as I went along and I think that's fine. I, I think the idea behind something like this is really to modify it to a way that works best for you. And I think if you watch any of the Domestic Blisters TikToks or uh, you see any of Casey's content, uh, that, that's pretty clear. Um, adapting things to what works for you is a pretty big part of uh, her content overall. So. Next on the list, like I said, that section was real short, is gathering all of the laundry in the entire place. I at first was like, there's not gonna be a ton of laundry. And then I realized I had traveled recently and I had just spread things all over the place. <laughs> so there was a good amount of laundry for me to gather um, throughout many, many places in the house. So I actually took this and again, I didn't have like a ton, but I had enough that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna fold laundry and put it away. Again, I don't think this is part of the usual tidying method. I think the idea is to just gather all of your laundry, but um, I had stuff that was clean that I just needed to get out of my way for various reasons. And so I started doing that basically. I kind of treated this like moving the vinyl in my office. Like I really just needed, you know, to be able to move things. Okay, so next, things with a place. So this is really the biggest part, in my opinion, of like this method that works really well. Once you've like kind of gotten rid of all, of all the trash and you've moved all the laundry and you've kind of removed that stuff from the space, that's when you go through and you start putting things away so long as you know that they already have a space. And so that was, I think my favorite part of this is it allowed me to kind of pick things up and remember, oh right, this, this has a spot that it's supposed to go. So. One thing that I tend to do in general in my house is I'll just pile things onto my kitchen table if I don't want to have to put it away immediately. You can see that very clearly. I spend a lot of time like just removing things from my kitchen table that definitely had a place that I just, I didn't put them away. Um, there's very little left on this kitchen table after I like finish this step. And when I was doing it, it was almost like a realization of how much I do this. And so I've been kind of putting in an effort to not do that as much and just put things away immediately 
because it's something that I think I could work on in general. So another thing too is, is that like one of my friends once joked that, um, ah, tired and gay, that my kitchen table is a fight for whatever craft I'm working on most recently and like scattered mail, which is true. Uh, and I, she didn't need to call me out like that. But anyway, I had a lot of things at my kitchen table that were just like from a craft I had been working on. And that pillowcase that's sitting on the table is actually there because I use it as, it's like an old one that I use as a tarp for when I'm crafting. And so that was kind of a big thing where I kind of took a step back and was like, oh no, I need to be better about making sure this is like clear. I'm, I don't, I'm just kind of rambling at this point because this section is pretty long and it's also pretty straightforward. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say in this area. So in my bedroom, this is uh, one of those things where I definitely, I have a lot of things that end up on the dresser that the camera is also sitting on. I kind of use it like as a second kitchen table in that I will dump things on there and then not move them, even though I should just put them away because they have a place to go. So I'm doing a lot of clearing that off as well as like things like trying to sort my bags and things into this bag. I'm a Midwesterner who puts all of my bags inside other bags and that's just how that works for me. But yeah, if you have a very small space, you'll find really quickly that you find weird ways to store things. And I think this is a really good example is that I tend to pack my backpacks in and other like small duffel bags and stuff inside of that one big suitcase. So it's just something that happens. Here I am again, um, I'm putting laundry away. Uh, I kind of decided that laundry is a thing with a place and by laundry, I mean clean laundry. So anything that I considered having a place, I did my best to put away in this section, which included like clothes and things like that. So um, that was, honestly, that worked really well for me. I, again, I don't really know if that's like the way that you're supposed to interpret it, but that's how I interpreted it and it worked. So I just, if I feel like it was a win. And so something I do want to talk about about this particular method of cleaning house is it's it's not really supposed to get your house super, super clean by any means or super organized. What instead Casey was trying to do with this method was making your house functional again. So the idea behind it is not to have a really clean, super organized space at the end. Instead, it's meant to be a space that you can actually like live in again so that it doesn't get out of hand as you go day after day, not cleaning up and then suddenly you're really overwhelmed when you go back to try and clean. Instead, this method is used for resetting a room like at the end of the night so that you can use it the next day. And I think some of these are catered to, like some of these specific things are kind of catered towards the fact that Casey has children. And I don't think that's a bad thing by any means. People with children have significantly more cleaning to do is, is really what it is. And that's fine. I don't have any kids, which is why, you know, when it was like, oh, find all of the laundry, I didn't really have that much. Same with dishes. I'm really the only one in the house making dishes. I'm really the only one in the house making laundry. Whereas if you live in a house with a bunch of people and you share responsibilities for your space, such as doing dishes, uh, share laundry. So if you live with like a partner or you live with kids or you live with your elderly parent and you all kind of share responsibility for the house and take care of it in your own ways. I think this is a really, really good method. And I think it also works and is very applicable for someone who is like me who is a single person that needs things to be laid out very simply as someone who has ADHD. And I think that's why I liked it so much was because for someone like Casey Davis, um, who has children, this might not be as deep of a clean, or this might be something that she can only do on a single room at a time. But for me, it was something I could do across my entire condo. And it got me to a state that was like almost a little bit above just basic functional. It ends up not being like too much much past a level and expending all of your energy on cleaning, which was something that I liked. Okay, next section, put away things that don't have a place.
So this also took me a pretty good amount of time because I am hoarding things constantly and constantly bringing on new stuff. So um, first I had to take a little fan break because <laughs> I, I got this, I got this, I do. But yeah, so for this step, I started again with my kitchen table because it is the most obvious spot for me because I just pile things on there. You'll find again that this is another really short section uh, because I just, I don't have a lot of stuff that didn't have a place. That was really what it was. So I just kind of worked through it. So then my next step was just to kind of enjoy the results and I'll talk a little bit about what comes after this in while I'm showing you the results. So here are the results. Um, and as that's playing, I do want to talk about like what Casey Davis says to do after this. So the whole idea is, is that you get your room back to functional, right? Now it's functional. And now you haven't overexpended your energy. So you can go, you can take the trash out, you can start the laundry, you could do something like that. And it's a very soft way of getting yourself into that cleaning without overtiring yourself. And this way you now have a functional space for you to be able to do those things. Um, and you can kind of just finish things out. And so with that, here are other places you can follow me. My name is Just Galaxy. I'm so glad to have you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I think this is like a 10 out of 10 method of cleaning, especially for someone with ADHD. So let me know if you try it. Thanks, guys.